OTAN Outreach and Technical Assistance Network So welcome to our DLAC final report. I am Jill Raid. I'm from Oxnard Adult School. Like I said, I'm presently a team of one. I'm so grateful to have had this opportunity as I have wanted to participate in DLAC for a couple of years, ever since I heard about the TMAC project. That was a couple of years ago. And I was so excited when Kathy Greaves, our former principal, approved our plan to apply to DLAC and then again when she appointed Vicki Costa to join me after my former partner withdrew at the last minute. Yeah, this was my good fortune to be able to work with Vicki. Um, we learned from each other and we learned together about our strengths. We practiced team building, took advantage of coaching and mentoring and got to know everybody, all you wonderful people. I am so pleased to have had this opportunity to execute a project which will benefit all the students and teachers at our school. Heartfelt thanks to you all and to Penny, Netta, Dr. P, Destiny, and Susan. Okay, so since August 2021, my focus has been assessment and accountability. Previously, I taught ESL and citizenship, and prior to January 2022, Vicki Costa was the other half of our OAS team as the teacher on special assignment. She is now a district special education program specialist. Yay, Vicki, yeah. And Oxnard Adult School has been serving students of the Oxnard, Port Wyneme, and Camarillo areas since 1937 as a part of the Oxnard Union High School District in Ventura County. OAS offers classes in CTE, adult basic education, English as a second language, adult secondary education, and US citizenship preparation. We also have a program for young migrant students to successfully integrate into ESL, ASC, and CTE classes. At 90%, Oxnard, Oxnard Adult School enrollment is predominantly Spanish speaking, although we also serve students speaking over 10 other languages. Oxnard is known as the strawberry capital of the United States, and we also produce major crops of lemons, celery, and cut flowers. In addition to agriculture, health and manufacturing are also major job sectors in the district. Both the naval base and the deep water port in Port Wyneme are a significant portion of the local economy. So pre-DLAC and pre-pandemic, OAS experienced uneven distribution of technology, services, and resources, and the need to shift our thinking. Um, we experienced uneven distribution of know-how as well. We had a need to teach and incorporate technology in regular lessons. Then the pandemic hit and we grew because we had to and it was hard. <laughs> Teachers implemented technology in different ways. Some discovered Google Meet and Zoom and held synchronous online classes. Some emailed their students, some texted their students. Some met virtually one-on-one, -on -one. some used Google Classroom LMS. There was teacher collaboration towards learning tech tools and regaining connection with our students. We learned what we really needed, which was curriculum that teaches students and teachers the technology skills that they need to be successful students. So just like everyone else, our, our DLAC project went through several iterations. Our first iteration was a short orientation class for ESL students prior to entering class. We would teach them how to sign in to email, the online platforms that we use, Google Classroom, and then send, their, send them well-equipped on their way to class. Our second idea was a big 30-hour comprehensive technology class starting at the very beginning with embedded co-apps, which would teach students the technology they, lead, they needed, as well as the literacy objectives in the co-apps. 
then we would send our students well equipped on their way to ESL class. So our third and final idea was more comprehensive. We identified the minimum technology skills students needed to be successful in school and used those as our technology objectives. We would start from the very beginning and be thorough and explicit and break down our concepts into more manageable bites. We would embed the technology co-ops, the three technology co-ops, into our concept as literacy objectives and teach both tech and literacy together at the same time. Each objective contains a literacy, uh, each objective contains a tech skill, specific related vocabulary, specific grammar, and an assessment of that skill. Our final concept includes four broad sections and we concentrated our time and efforts on the basic skills basic tech skills section. We named our curriculum Digital Literacy Skills for Learning and Life. And you can look at it at this bit.ly and we're going to go there now. Okay, so here is here's our spreadsheet. Here is our curriculum spreadsheet. So over here I have one particular tech objective which is identify and demonstrate basic parts and functions of a computer. Then I have, ooh, it always does that. Parts of a laptop, desktop, Chromebook, tablet, smartphone. So this is, these are the vocabulary objectives. Um, and that's for the first, first lesson. Next one would be parts, other, same things. Names of letters, keyboard keys, click, double click, right click, swipe. So we try to be comprehensive with our vocabulary. Then the grammar is pretty simple. This is a, what is this? Uh, where is this? You, the imperative, go to, click on, swipe, right click, left click. Our tech skill is navigating the device using a mouse or a trackpad and a keyboard. Keyboard skills, keyboarding, keyboard shortcuts like copy paste, undo, redo, scroll up, scroll down, refresh, move to trash. Which device? So laptop, desktop, Chromebook, tablet, smartphone. We wanted to be comprehensive, or um, I think the term is tech agnostic. Then our assessment is following a set of written or oral instructions. Students will identify key device components and functions, and then we list what they're going to do. Um, and here you see which co-op we've got associated with this particular tech objective. And we were using the, um, the ISTE standards. Okay. Okay, just like every other program here, we also ran into some roadblocks. Um, lack of administrative support, conflict, resistance to change. Nobody likes change. It is not comfortable, right? Yeah. Um, many, many teachers were looking forward to going back, going back to the classroom, going back to paper and pencil. We experienced health issues. Then I took a new job, and then Vicki took a new job with the district. But Susan and everybody else had our backs, and thank you so much. OK. At the same time we experienced roadblocks, we also experienced transitions. So last June, we moved from our school of several decades to a new location, and last month, our principal retired. And today, they are interviewing for the new principal. So we've got our fingers crossed. Now, I am a team of one. Um, I work with some colleagues who give input as they are able, and we are awaiting our new principal. We have plans to implement a new onboarding process in the fall that's still in development, but we're planning to incorporate our basic tech skills in that new onboarding program. Okay, now video. Sign in, sign out, log in, log out, power on, shut down, 
email address, username, password. You can do it. Try your best. You can do it. Try your best. Connectedness. Restorative. Relator. Learner. Strategic. You can do it. Try your best. What's my password? What's my username? Oh, it's the other account. Positivity. Includer. Activator. Adaptability. Destiny, Netta, Penny, Dr. P. Destiny, Netta, Penny, Dr. P.